Hey everybody, Dark Hour 717 here at Klesher with looking at ways that we can get out of here. Thank you for checking this out and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and follow on Twitch and check out Amarok Spang. We are an open org that accepts all applicants. So to get out of Klesher, there are multiple ways from waiting your time, which is the most convenient, to also mining for ore, which is convenient with a crime stat one, maintenance contracts, which is the easiest legal way to get out and the quickest to wipe out time, escaping, which Amarok Spain can assist with that, and character resets, which are not recommended at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here by looking at the mining for ore option. Okay. As you can see, I have 12 hours and 31 minutes. So we're going to take a look at some ways that we can cut down this time. So one of the ways we can cut down the time is to do mining missions. And you come into the work mines to do that. You have this route here you got to take. You can actually come here and get stuff from the commissary. You can get med pens, oxy pens, water, and things like that. Right now I have zero merits and 12 hours and 31 minutes of time to work and on. And you have route one, route two, and then over here is route three. So you have three different routes that you can take into the mines. We'll take two for this time round. We've got our mining tool. And it works just like it does on the outside. And we're going to go in here and we are going to look for rocks that may highlight that are mineable. Alright, so here we are. This is a rock that we can mine. Alright, so it's going to do the scanning of it. Gives us that it's aphorite. Again, you have aphorite, hadnite, and dolvine. And of course, hadnite's going to give you the most merits. Aphrodite is second. And then the third one is Dolvine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do this just like we do in the Prospector. Adjust the amount of your beam until you get it to be right up there by that green line on the left. Moving closer in this case does make a difference. And you want to just kind of move it around to keep that line going and adjust the strength of your beam. You want to keep it right between that green and red line. And once that slider gets all the way across to the left the rock will break all right and then you'll see all these purple pieces here and all you want to do is go and interact on them and select stow If you have problems with doing the stow, you can inspect it and stow it from there. So now, the key thing with this is after you get these rocks, you cannot suicide or else you will lose them. So you have to walk your way back to the entrance. If you're deep in the mine, you should be able to find O2 stations to replenish your oxygen if you're getting low. And this is where you turn in the rocks that you have mined. All right, and it shows that we have 480 merits of aphorite, eight units, 480 merits. We have 12 hours, 22 minutes left. We're going to deposit those. And once we've deposited those, we'll see that our time has come down by nine minutes. So 480 merits of that, nine minutes, not a huge difference. So mining is not the most ideal way to get out of Klesher, but it is one of the ways you can do it. Okay, so here's another way that we can make our way out of Klesher, and that's our maintenance contracts. We go into our Moby Glass, and we get this, and it pays between 5,000 and 15,000 merits. So we're going to go ahead and accept that, and we are going to head down and take care of it. So we're going down Route 2, 
depth six. So we want to go into the work mines. I'm sorry, route one, depth six. So we're going to go into the work mines here. And we're going to head over to route one. And we're just going to head down the route that we're supposed to go. Because again, you have route one, two, and three. Your depths are indicated by the numbers that are hanging from the ceiling in each doorway, like here is depth one. Alright, so here we are at depth 6, and now we just have to find the O2 machine we have to fix, and here it is right here. You're going to walk up to it. Hit vent. And that just awarded us 5,000 merits. Now we'll go see how much time it knocked off. So there we go, we're now at 10 and a half hours. I was originally at 12 hours, so it knocks about an hour and a half's time off for 5,000 merits. And you can continue to do those. And what you'll find is that uh, the deeper you have to go, the more merits you get. Again, you can get up to 15,000 merits on that. And this is a quick, fast way to whittle down a extended time frame okay so typically there are four well actually five ways you can get out of klesher one is to wait your time you can do that by sleeping it off or if it's short just sitting around and waiting maybe read a book i don't know check google anyways so number two is through the o2 missions and with the O2 missions, basically you get a contract that you can go and repair one of the O2 machines deep down in the caves. We'll go over that one. And then the third one is going to be to mine. Mine some rocks, look for Aphrodite, Dolivine, and also the Hadonite. Turn it in for Merits. Merits cuts down your time. And then there's the fourth way, which is, well, usually the way I go. And that's to escape. So we're going to do an escape here and we're going to start here at the mining office just through the curtains into the work mines and we're going to look through this window and get our code for the fan. Okay, so it's 8521. Head back over to the fan. That turns green, and then we're through here. This only stays off for a short amount of time. And then the key thing is that you're going to want to have somebody ready to pick you up at the end, or plan on taking one of the Ursas and hopefully getting somewhere where you can go and get picked up. All right, so we're going to go around here. You can also jump straight across this down here. And we're going to go down this big, huge hole. There are a few ledges on the way, but you can actually drop all the way down without getting injured. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go down the only path we have. Now, the blue flowers are the key thing that you wanna follow. They're gonna light, guide your way. Here, you're gonna hang a left and get on this block with the tree root. And most of the time I vault that by mistake. Go here and you're gonna go to the right. And then you're gonna continue over here to the right and you can go up. And go down the path directly ahead. And then you're gonna volley over these two here. And you're gonna go down the path to the right. And then curl around and go up. Again, you're gonna follow these blue flowers. Go up this way. In this room, you gotta go to the far side here. Jump up, and then we're gonna jump directly across to that ledge there. And then over to that ledge. And then continue going up. Now once you get to this blue flower, you're gonna hang a right. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go up. And just continue around going up till you get to this room and guess what we're gonna go up some more all right and then you get to this hole here and what you'll see is when you get to the end here there's that a shaped hole there and this is where you're gonna hold shift and run and jump you will bounce off that wall, but you should land on the ledge. You'll immediately turn around. You'll see that ledge right there, and you're gonna run and jump over to it. This will come around to the lower ledge, and then brings you to this point here. Now the key to this is you do not wanna run and jump. You wanna make sure your scroll wheel is all the way up and aim for the back wall so it'll stop you. All right, and then we're just gonna turn around. We're gonna line up on this ledge. And this one, we are gonna run and jump. All right, so then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna face this ledge, right about where that point is. And we're gonna run and jump. Turn around just to our left. And we're gonna run and jump across over to here. And we're gonna go up this rock here. All right. We're gonna follow this around, climb up some more. And then we get to this little metal platform. This is just gonna be a regular jump. You're not gonna run. And right up on there, just make sure you don't go off the other side. And you'll see that steel platform there. You wanna aim for that. And this is gonna be a run and jump. And this is pretty much the halfway point. We're gonna get up here and this one almost looks impossible but you can actually make it this is gonna be a run and jump you're gonna aim right for the center then we're gonna climb up some more to the left this way right. and then you'll see this platform here where the tree is right there you want to aim for that wall there and it's gonna be a big run and jump let the wall stop you and then you can go up that wall you hit and if my clamber would cooperate with me we're gonna go up this way now at this split you're gonna to want to go to the right and you're gonna run and jump across that just bounce off the wall and climb up here. There's our blue flower. 
you'll see the purple hue here and this is going to be a run and jump aim right for that purple guy I call him Freddy Freddy's just sleeping alright so we're going to climb up there and then we get to this dilapidated old metal piece here and we're going to go up here and we're going to continue across over to the rock ledge here and then we're going to come around to the right here and curl around and we're going to follow this path and I always run and jump that one just in case and then we're going to continue following the path and climbing up and then you get to this point here you're just going to come out here you're going to point right at that tube don't worry about those pipes you will go right through them and you're going to run and jump across to there and this is mickey say hi mickey ah, he's sleeping too all right so we're going to go up this way and we're going to go and jump down here and we're going to follow this around to here and on this one you're not going to aim for the left side you have to aim more for the right where that further platform sticks out and you're going to run and jump this there we go and this is basically going to be the end of the parkour part and this you're going to want to run and jump and this is the last jump and you're pretty much home free at this point so we're going to go through this way and by this time, hopefully you've got somebody in the tube to pick you up or on their way in to pick you up in the Ursa. All right, so over that container and here are our codes for the Ursas, 39, 36, and 1951. All right, so we're gonna just go out this way. Gonna follow this around. And we're going to come to this final part here. We got to crouch down and crawl through here. And then up. And this brings you to the vent in the tube where if you have somebody coming to pick you up in a small ship, they can be here waiting for you to jump in, which is very convenient with a Pisces, an 85X, or a uh, 100 series Origin. But if you want to get the Ursa, you go around this way. On this staircase, you have to be very careful. There are missing steps on two of them. So you're just going to do a regular jump over and then head back up through here, just past the dead guy. I don't have a name for him. He's just the dead guy. And this is where our second hole is going to be. So we're going to jump over here and continue up. And this is going to be the last staircase you can take. Okay, so on here, you don't want to jump up on top of this box. You want to just step up to it. And then you're going to go onto this platform here. And then you're going to use this rampway here to get onto the pipes and avoid that staircase that's majorly broken over there. You want to try and make sure you try to stay centered on the pipe because you can glitch into it if you fall between it. And then when you get here, just jump across and you are home safe and now you want to just make your way to the boxes that are on the end of the circle here the tube so i just stay when it's dark i stay keep this uh, yellow dotted line on my left and follow it around we're going to that container right over there there's one on this tube and then there's one across the way on that other tube that you can see over there and those two codes should work on it so we're going to go up here to the front of it you want to make sure you grab both codes because you don't know if they are in here punch it in open the door open the ramp and there's our ursa and it looks like somebody kind of had an issue with it. So let's see if we can get into the back. All right, and we are going to start her up. Welcome to 
Let's turn on our headlights. And we are... We are out of here. Alright, so the point to this is to hopefully get somebody that has a vehicle that can pick you up, meet you, or try to drive this far enough away to where somebody can land safely to pull you out of here. But thank you for joining. I'm Dark Hour 717 Hopefully this has been helpful for you. And I'm going to get out of here and get back to my crew at Amrock's Fang. And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe. Don't forget to follow on Twitch. And also keep an eye out for new videos coming out about twice a week. And check out the merch store. And everybody have a great day. And we will see you next time.